Good morning, grandkids. Well, I hope this is going to record properly this time. Um, I'm probably going to have to make this at least three different videos because I my mail has accumulated so quickly and for a while I haven't been able to record this because this hasn't been working properly but we'll see how it goes today but I have a stack of mail here on the corner of my desk and I have a stack of mail over there on top of two boxes and I have a bag around there that I brought back from uh, Cinema, Cinemax so I cannot possibly do them all in one video it would go on for hours I think so I might break it down into three okay so I'm going to start with this one from Tyler Putnam he asked me recently if I had gotten it yet and I had but I don't usually say in comments that to so and so I received your mail today because I just save them up until I do this vlog so uh, you can ask me if I've gotten them yet but don't get worried if I haven't read anything yet so this is Tyler Putnam this is from am I is that Michigan what maybe he, maybe he will say Also, I think I might start just having these all out and ready to read and instead of having to go through all of this. <laughs> might make things easier and faster. Dear Gaming Grandma, see he wrote this on April 11th. I've got some laying here older than that. Hi, my name is Tyler. I was scrolling around YouTube one day and I came across the documentary that made about you. I thought it was really cool that someone as old as yourself loves to play video games, Skyrim. I also have a YouTube channel called Tyler Putnam 2.0 and I have over 2,000 subscribers. Looking more into your channel, I noticed that on your About tab that you have your P.O. Box listed, so I decided I wanted to write you a letter. I'm glad because that's what it's there for, so I can hear from all of you. Um, I wanted to say hi and that I love your videos and what you do here on YouTube. I was hoping to get a response back as I am making a video where, where I send this letter and when you hopefully reply to me. I then will read your response. Thank you. I'm sorry I'm so late. I have a couple of questions. I, I, I don't know if you wanted me to leave a response in the comments where you said you sent a letter uh, so that you could just read that or what. I'd have a hard time trying to scroll back on my games and find it now. I have a couple of questions that I wanted to ask for the video. One, what's the number one thing that you like about making videos on YouTube? I think the number one thing is talking to all of you and getting responses and it's just enjoyable and everyone is being so nice to me. That I guess is my favorite thing because otherwise I would just assume be playing the games just for my own pleasure because I'd get to play all day long like I used to but now I can't. Number two, what keeps you motivated constantly post each and every day oh well sometimes I can't post every day but I try uh, my motivation is all of you people because a lot of your responses to me are so sad and actually heartbreaking and uh, I just feel like I can't go backwards and stop recording and just play for my own amusement and abandon all the people here that seem to appreciate the fact that watching one of my videos helps them through sorrow, depression, unhappiness, sadness, 
losses of family members, all of these things that are said to me is what keeps me motivated. How long have you been playing Skyrim and do you have any other games that you like to play? I've been playing Skyrim since back in 2014, I guess. I started recording the game in late 2015. And uh, I like a few other games, but there's hardly, but I don't play them much. And, and I haven't recorded them much, but you can look in my playlist. There's a lot of games there for you to look through. Some of them might just have one or two videos. Uh, I also have a playlist uh, called uh, One's Midnight, Shirley After Midnight or something like that, which has a couple of horror games in it for one or two videos I didn't couldn't finish. And uh, I have some others like that that just has one video in it. Grandma's Grab Bag is one on Fridays once in a while I have. And it's just one video of each game that I try. Of course, I try a lot of games that don't go in there because I don't like them. And you all keep suggesting the same games over and over and over. Which I'm not going to play. And I have said that over and over and over. And so I, most of the time, don't even respond to those comments anymore. And won't. Um, that's all of my questions that I have. Again, I really enjoy your videos. I like how you play the game in such a different way, keeping it fresh and exciting every video. My next YouTube goal is 3,500 subscribers. And again, my channel is Tyler Putnam 2.0. Congrats on all your YouTube success. So all of you grandkids out there, go over and check out his channel. Uh, give him a hi or tell him that you came from grandma or whatever. Uh, um, give him a like. Make him feel good. Help him to grow his channel. See what he's doing there. Keep on making videos. I'll see you at 1 million subscribers. I hope not. I know you can do it. I hope for a reply. Take care and have a good rest of your day, Tyler. Well, thank you, Tyler. I appreciate it very, very much. And uh, I, I hope I answered those questions for you okay. Um, I can't go back and find your first comment where you asked about this. And uh, if that's the kind of comment you wanted, I'm sorry. Maybe you can do something with this. This one is from Tracy Ivanitz. Ivanitz. It's I-V-A-N-I-T-Z. And this is from Canada. And I absolutely love what she did with her. Yeah, she did with this envelope. She has got stickers all over it with uh, avatars from Skyrim and quotes on them from the letter carrier that's always trying to find you, which is very apropos for putting on this package. Uh, look at these. Oh. Okay. And they're even on the back. I just think that's the cutest thing. She sent me. Okay. Oh, wow. I can hardly wait to get time to look at this page by page. Here is a book. I wish everything wasn't so shiny in the, its organ. Or and Thompson Nicola uh, 
a photo book of where she lives. And there's beautiful pictures going on in here. So I can't wait to get into that. And here is a Oh, I'll save them for last. Here is a card. I scream, you scream. We all scream for ice cream. You're another year nicer. <laughs> Grandma Shirley, happy birthday. Best wishes for a beautiful year. Tracy, Austin, and Braden. That's so cute. And although my birthday is long past. I'm opening this late. Uh, and then a letter. I hope I can read this. It's red on white and it's very hard for you to see. Dear Grandma Shirley, I hope this letter finds you well and has arrived on time for you. Yes, it did. For your birthday. I am so happy to hear that you have been feeling much better and back to your old self. I would like to let you know that I do not mind if you share this letter with your viewers. I have been watching your videos for about two years. My favorite is episodes 133 and 134. Gancy gets into a whole heap of trouble and Gancy on the run. <laughs> Those were kind of fun to record. Your commentary was priceless and to this day makes me smile. You are the only YouTuber that I watch that I, I can share with my nephews and they ask to watch you a lot. I managed to catch you on the Brutal Games podcast. I was even lucky enough to have my question answered. I remember you telling me at the time you commented in the comments under that and said thank you for answering my question. I, I'm pretty sure I remember that. Someone did. <laughs> I, I have also signed the petition to get you into Elder Scrolls 6 and wait in anticipation for the mod they are working on to get you into Skyrim. Me too. I wish I knew what I was going to be, but they didn't tell me anything. So I don't know. I know you love beautiful scenery, so I have included a picture book of my hometown and surrounding area. I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to love it. And to look at all of it and know that that's where you live, that's going to be interesting. My nephews had also wanted to give you something for your birthday. Austin drew your favorite character, the Khajiit, while Braden chose the Skyrim symbol. So this is from Austin. Look at his Khajiit. And there's my horse. There's a dragon up in the sky and the mountains behind. I just think that that's so cute. And here is my Skyrim symbol from Braden. Very, very nice, Braden. I love it when people draw pictures for me. Let me put that down. Finally, I just wanted you to know that you are a true treasure you are wholesome, honest, and rare in an oversaturated community of bravado and silly antics. You know that all of your grandkids love you. So remember, when you need a break, take one. Don't feel bad about not being able to answer every comment either. We all understand and will continue to love you anyway. Thank you because that's just gotten so out of hand that I can no longer take that much time. Take care of yourself, Grandma Shirley. We all want you around for a very long time. Tracy Ivanitz, 
comments on YouTube are under Thoris Lee Queen. I don't know how to pronounce that, dear. P.S. Enjoy the book series. Enjoying the book series. I'm glad everybody li likes that um, Grandma's Bookshelf series. I'm enjoying doing it. It's something quiet and relaxing for me. Okay. On to the next thing. This is... I guess I should look in things first before I say people's names. To see if they told me they don't want me to. To read it. Doesn't seem to say. This is from Renee Ferguson in Canada. Oh, it's, a, it's a thank you card, which reads, you're one of the thoughtful people in this world. You go out of your way to be kind, to brighten someone's day, or make life a little nicer for others. Thank you so much. Well, what a sweet thank you card. I didn't know that kind of thank you card even existed. <gasps> Thanks. Dear Grandma Shirley, I hope that you... Oh, sorry, let me back up. I hope your 2019 is going well. Can you believe it's March already? Oh, I'm really opening this late. No, I know it's going so fast. Especially the older you get, the even faster it's going to go. I've been a follower on your channel since the Brow the Blade series, and I've been a fan ever since. I love how you take a step back and actually appreciate the atmosphere of Skyrim. <laughs> I do. Um, your videos are always so enjoyable. I know you said you stopped recording videos of Call of Cthulhu. Yeah. But I thought you would really like this book. It's a collection of the stories that... that include or reference Cthulhu. H.P. Lovecraft is my favorite author and I hope you enjoy these classics as much as I do. Well, I guess that's all I had to say. Thank you for sharing your stories through Skyrim and I look forward to future adventures from your grandkid, Renee. Thank you so much, Renee. I appreciate it and I had asked uh, for people to let me know something about Cthulhu because I had no idea what Cthulhu was supposed to be. And so different ones started telling me things about and that it was by Lovecraft. And so she sent me this book. Thank you so much, Renee. This is a Lovecraft compendium. So there's several of his stories in here. So as soon as I finish the novel that I'm reading, which I get to read a little bit each night when I go to bed. I'm going to start this one. Thank you so much. This one is from Gail Olmsted. I know her very well. She lives in Lynchburg right near me. Oops. This is her card. It's a bunch of red birds. I think they look like kiwis. <laughs> Dear Shirley, belated birthday wishes for you. Enclosed is a small gift for you. I saw it while shopping and thought of you. You don't have to put the decals on your phone, <laughs> but can add the pack to your extensive 
Skyrim collection. I might do that because I wouldn't put them on my phone. But, uh, and I can't think of anything to put them on. I wouldn't put them on my laptop either. So I might leave them as they are as a gift from you and put them in my box of all my other goodies I collect. That stupid phone rings again while I'm on recording. I'll have a fit. So excuse me when I have a fit. A fit. <laughs> uh, so here's, here's those stickers. It's pretty neat that they have a collection of stickers. Okay. Um, I've also included... Where is my town today? I've also enclosed a treasure from distant lands, a magnet from China, hand-delivered by my son living in China the last time he traveled to the States. The magnet shows a representation of a Chinese dragon, because I know how much you like dragons. And this is, and this is the dragon. That's pretty cool. That will go on my refrigerator with other magnets. And, and the colors remind me of a bowl and an elephant that I received as gifts from an Another young lady that was in, I think she was visiting in Taiwan, I think. And they, it, they were colored and looked very similar to that. So they'll all go together and very nice. The red birds on the front of the card that looks like kiwis <laughs> reminds me of the cardinal, the state bird of Virginia where we both live. I know how much you enjoy looking at the birds and nature in real life and in Skyrim. And of course, the birthday bird reminds me of you and how special you are to all of us. You're truly one of a kind. Happy birthday. I hope that you had a blessed birthday and pray that you will have many more. I look forward to meeting you in Elder Scrolls Six. Yes. Love and hugs, Gail Olmsted. Thank you so much, Gail. I appreciate this, and I appreciate these gifts. You are a treasure on on my YouTube channel, and uh, I will always read your comments. If I don't get a heart down under there, it's just because I'm having a busy day. <laughs> Thank you so much. This one is from Florida. It doesn't have a name on the top of it, so maybe I might not be supposed to read it. I don't know. Let me see if it says. doesn't say that I can't. The person's name is Aaron. Dear Shirley Curry, my name is Aaron and I love your videos so much. They make me realize how wonderful the world is with people like you in it. Never stop adventuring. Skyrim forever. Love, Aaron. Thank you, Aaron. And happy early birthday. So evidently I got this before my birthday. From this, oh, happy early birthday, Shirley, from Garrett and Anigo. This is Garrett. And there's Anigo. That is so good. And Anigo says, we are best friends, yes? <laughs> That's so cute. I hope once I get moved, I can get all of these drawings like this put in frames and have out setting up. I want that very, very much. Thank you, Aaron. And that was, that's such a good drawing. I really, really love it. 
and you're from Florida. I hope you're having warm and beautiful weather by now. This is from Belvedere, South Carolina. He, he doesn't say that I can't read it out loud, but he's really had some tragedy. I don't know why he would mind if I read it. It's I appreciate the letter so much. Dear Grandma Shirley, let me begin by introducing myself. My name is Dalton Harrell, and I'm 20 years old. I currently live in North Augusta, South Carolina, but I was born and spent time growing up in Augusta, Georgia. Uh, isn't that strange that it was the same town name, both places that you live? I suffered from a fall which resulted in a traumatic brain injury. This happened to me four years ago in Chicago. I was in my high school's marching band traveling all over the state of South Carolina. My school was invited to perform in a parade before Thanksgiving in Chicago. As we were getting ready to march, I fell over a small fence hitting the back of my head on a brick, causing internal bleeding in the frontal lobe region while fracturing the back of my skull. I spent a few days in neural ICU before being allowed to come home just in time for Thanksgiving Day. My life changed in that very moment and has not been the same since. I spent over a year in therapy for speech, physical, and op occupational therapy. I still suffer from short-term memory problems, but it has gotten a lot better. Thank goodness for that. Thankfully, I never lost any of my long-term memories. That's very good. Recently, I got a dog to which I have trained with the help of others to become my service dog. Oh, he helps me with panic attacks, anxiety, depression, and fear of going out in public. That's good. I have watched your videos over the years and loved them. I would watch them on most days when I wasn't going to doctors. My favorite videos you make are when you read books to us. My second favorite thing you have done was The Call of Cthulhu. I enjoy watching you play horror games. I'm sorry I couldn't finish that game. It just got boring like the rest of horror games do. If it would have kept on being like it was in those first few videos, I would have kept on playing it, but it changed into that same kind that all others that are called horror videos become, and that's not horror. It might later on go back and be horror again, I don't know. In closing of this letter, I thank you for the videos you make that have brought a lot of joy and happiness to the world. You are a kind and gentle soul. Hopefully you will be in the new Elder Scrolls game. Most respectfully, Aaron or Dark Bolton. Dalton Harrell. Thank you so much, Dalton. And I am so sorry for what all that you've had to go through. And I think that's a shame that they would have something like that anywhere near a marching field where people would be marching and, uh, and a chance to stumble over it. Or, uh, I think that's terrible. I hope whoever was responsible for that place has helped pay bills or whatever. Thank you very much for your letter. Oh, there's, there's so many little goodies in here.
Okay, said feel free to share. Okay. Dear Grandma Shirley, I first I first just wanted to say that I am a huge fan of your channel. I think I've been subscribed for about a year now. I think it's so cool that you love to spend time playing Skyrim, my all-time favorite game. I have a uh, I have a hard time watching longer videos, but I still have fun watching what I can once in a while. You are such a fine, sweet woman, and I hope one day I'll be like you and be able to play Skyrim all the time. Hopefully, when you retire, you can do that just like I do. You put so much love and effort into your playthroughs, which inspires me to make more time when I play Skyrim myself. I thought it would be fun to write you a cute letter with some little fun features. Yes, and I appreciate it very much. Um, this is the s sort of thing I do sometimes for my friends and I decided you'd like this as well. I do. I am a senior in high school currently deciding where to go to college. I am looking into becoming an environmentalist. Nice. And one day own a house with a cute flower garden. Good. <laughs> Do you like to play any other games in particular? Well, I think I pretty much answered that in one of the others <laughs> and other vlogs even. But I, I don't so far. I've played Conan Exiled and that was fun when I was playing with my son. That's in my playlist. And uh, I, I enjoyed I enjoyed playing Ark evolve. Uh, I have three playlists playing ARC in my playlist, so you can look for those. Other than that, most everything else has just sort of been hit and miss, and most games I don't like. I don't like the way they play, or I don't like their mechanics, one or the other. Um, let me see, where am I? I have seen you post some videos of a few other games, but I have not uh, watched them yet. I happen to also really enjoy playing Animal Crossing New... I don't know what that says. It's a very cute game where you're the mayor of your own town killed with filled with about seven to ten different animals. Oh yeah, I tried that one. Who all have different personnel. I don't know if I posted it or not, but I played it. I played it. I started playing it once. If I posted it, it was just one video. Friends with a pink. I am also best friends with a pink squirrel. Oh, she is in a village with a wolf named Kyle. Okay. Feel free to share my letter with your other grandkids. I hope I will. I hope I will. Be able to watch your videos more often. May this letter bring you as much joy as it brought me to write it. That's nice. I love you, Grandma. Stay safe as always. Bree. Brianna. What's her name? Sorry. It's just Brianna R. Bri R. I'm Brianna R. In. And you may know me as Brianna Lone Wolf. In my YouTube channel, I suppose. Okay. 
and she sent me a picture. Now, I don't know if she'd want me to show that or not. Here is a copy of me, of my senior photos. Oh, yeah, don't share on YouTube, please. Uh, that I figured that. Okay, and these are the little things that she sent. This is a tea bag, and it smells wonderful. It says, this is a celestial gingerbread spice tea. My, your dad, my dad bought it for me near Christmas, and it, and it smells tastes almost just like gingerbread when you when you something and add sugar I am a huge fan of tea I sort of hope you enjoy this small piece of my collection even if you don't drink it I promise it smells amazing. <laughs> yes, and I it does, and I do like tea. And uh, this smells so good, I almost want to just keep it sitting somewhere to smell. But I will drink it. And here is a paper folded unicorn. Isn't that cute? I've gotten other uh, paper folding things from people. I like them. Here is a picture of my main Khajiit character and his dog. I don't know that name. From the Dawnstar DLC. My character is named. My character is named and it just stops there. Please feel free to share. Wow, I like this in the outfit. Isn't that nice? Okay, so that's my goodies from Brianna R. Thank you so very much. I appreciate it. I love all the little goodies. And this last one for this vlog, oh, I'm not going to even attempt to get into anything else. This is from This is from New Hampshire. Oh, this is a kiwi. Huh. See, that's the way those red birds were made on the front of that other one. Let me see if I can share. Dear Shirley, thank you for the years of content. I love putting you on. Your videos are always so comforting, especially with my real grandma living so far away. At least she's still living, and you can call her or send her a note like this. Let her know that you love her. This is Kiwi clothing. I'll show it to you in a minute. For two years I have been selling shirts and donating 50% of my profits to saving the endangered bird. So far we are very small, only donating $400, but every penny counts. $400 isn't bad. Hope you enjoy the soupy, super comfy shirt and the little sticker of our other design. My good friend Bella drew the amazing bird, and I couldn't be more proud of her art. That's for sure. That's very good. If you like it, please feel free to share with your audience to take 10% off using code Shirley Curry. Thank you again. Love. Case Merrick, or Casey Merrick. Um, 
So, I want to show you the shirt, and it feels really nice. See the little kiwi and the name kiwi on there? So this is, is a, they've made their own company and sell these kiwi products. Uh, I haven't had a chance to go look yet, but I'm assuming there's more than the t-shirts. It says so far we are very small. And the, and the company is called Kiwi Clothing. And clothing is with a K, the same as Kiwi. So go there and check them out. If you see something that you like, and you should try one of those shirts, it's really nice. It feels good. It feels comfy. Use the code Shirley Curry, and you'll get 10% off your price. So go check them out, see what they have for sale, and help out the saving of the kiwi birds. Thank you very much for that. I love it. I shall try, not try, I will wear that in my next video. Maybe in my next uh, mail reading video, okay? So that's all for today. Thank you all very much. I appreciate it when I get mail. And even though it stacks up like this, and I don't have time to get to it all and so now I'm going to have to do it in two or three vlogs. That's my bad. And thank you. I appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next video. So, goodbye for now. Did I start this out by saying hello, grandkids? Once I didn't. And somebody said, what happened to my grandma? Who are you? <laughs> so, goodbye, grandkids.